I just recently bought this um, Nike Air Max Flyknit, yeah, that Nike Flyknit Max. In America, I think you call it Nike, but in England and also Turkey, we call it Nike. Um, they're very comfortable. Has this thing called um, Flywire in it as well, and it. Um, this is the fly knit and this is the fly wire, these things here is fly wire and it runs right through the, the fly knit mesh. So as you can see, look, it runs right through the mesh and it's meant to give your, the trainer more support. It kind of helps the trainer wrap around your feet. So it feels more comfortable, it gives your foot more support. Um, here's what it looks like on the front. It has this huge air bubble on it as well. Um, it's nice and soft. Has these uh, things on the back, reflective things on the back. So if you're walking at night or running at night um, and a car light shines on this, it will reflect the light back and shine nicely. This is the sole. And the tongue is uh, very thin. And I thought it might not be very comfortable because it's so thin, but it is, it is quite comfortable. And look, you can see that it's got holes in the tongue as well, so your feet can um, breathe on both sides. And um, the tongue is kind of stretchy as well. Look, it's made of this kind of elastic material. Let me focus on that. It's kind of elastic material. But it's very comfortable. I got these in a UK 10. And um, it says 16 there because um, this is the 2016 model. It's just um, come out about a month or two ago. Um, when I when I was um, uh, gonna when I before I bought these shoes, I wanted to find out. I wanted to know the the length of the laces because um, I want to change my laces because I don't really like the the black uh, laces. I prefer something that's a bit more bright. And um, so I want to change them. I might change them to purple or something like that, or maybe a kind of neon yellow or neon green um, to brighten them up. And I wasn't sure of the length of the laces, but um, I've measured the length now, and these laces are 110 centimeters. So if you're roughly a size 10, a UK 10 that is, and um, you want to know the lace length, it's 110 centimeters. Um, I think the reason why these are these feel quite bouncy when compared to the Nike shocks I had before and also I had the MX90. I have loads of Nikes and these are by far the most bouncy but I think it could be to do with this um, this uh, this sole um, in the shoes. So uh, can you see it's kind of bouncy? Yeah. It can, compresses a lot. So uh, I think that's why it feels kind of springy these shoes when you wear them and maybe through time it won't um, feel so springy. It might lose its springiness. Um, this is what the shoe looks like inside. Has that hole there? I don't know that's why that's there. It must be used to make the shoe. And it has another hole in there as well. And there's a fly knit inside. Oops. Other side fly knit. Um, I'm not sure how durable these will be because I think if you step on a drawing pin it might um, puncture them and might make them uh, pretty useless to run and run on but um, hopefully they're quite durable. It's the first time I've bought trainers with a huge air bubble like this. I've had Air Maxes before but never with a huge air bubble like this before. Um, so yeah they're, they're very comfortable really I'm, I'm happy with them they're good. They fit nice and um, fit nice on my feet. So this is what they look like with jeans on. I didn't buy these to go long distance running or anything like that, I just bought them for casual use. <laughs>